Hey friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. It's a little bit of a change of scenery because I'm here at the Tampa International Airport cell phone lot. And I'm waiting for Pastor Ricky Bolden and his wife Glenda. They're coming down to Sarasota to take part in our prayer breakfast this Thursday. And Ricky has also said that he would speak at our church on Sunday. So I hope you can be there or at least that you can join in on Facebook. Ricky always has something inspiring and godly to say when he comes to give us a message. Ricky was a former Cleveland Browns lineman, and he quit because God called him to be a pastor. And if God calls you to be a pastor, don't ever do anything else. Don't ever turn your back on that calling. If God hasn't called you to be a pastor, you don't want to do it. But if God calls you to it, that's the life he has for you, and it'll be a wonderful life. But I'm just waiting for him, and I thought we'd just have our devotions here. So let's go to Psalm 23, maybe the most famous passage in the Bible, and think about what it says to us today. When we go through difficult times, it's always good for us to remember we're never in control anyway. We can do our best to follow God, and I think when we make right choices, our life is better. But in reality, the most important things are always the province of God. He makes the decisions on the most important questions of our life. And so it's really good to put our trust in him. David was a king. He was, he was very talented. He had many gifts. But David also realized how small his abilities were compared to God. And David had grown up as a shepherd, so he knew what that was like, chasing around dumb sheep that need to be taken care of every single day. So David starts off by comparing God to a shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. David knew that a shepherd takes care of all of his flock's needs. And, and he thought, that's what God does for me. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. Green pastures, not burned out pastures with little food, but pastures that have everything we need. God's going to give us the food we need. He gives us quiet water, not the rushing water with steep banks that's dangerous, but the quiet water where we can go to drink to our fill. He refreshes my soul. Sometimes our soul gets tired. And then we go back to God and he inspires us again. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. David says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Just like a shepherd takes care of his flock and takes care of everything they need, that's what God does for us. David felt the constant care of God. And then he describes it in, in the way that a shepherd takes care of his sheep. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He makes sure we have enough food to eat. He leads me beside quiet waters. The sheep need quiet waters, not rapids with steep banks where it's dangerous, but nice quiet pools where they can drink their fill. And that's what God does for us. David says, he refreshes my soul. Sometimes our souls get tired. But we can go back to God and get his inspiration again. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. God doesn't give us commands that are a burden to test our love for him. His commands are always for our good. He tells us the right way to live. That's, that's the commands he has for us. And David says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God doesn't promise not to take us through the dark valleys. But he says when he takes us in, he's going to take us through. There's times when you're going to say, God, why, what are we doing here? Why do I have this going on in my life? And then one day afterwards, you're going to say, thank you for taking me through it, God. Thank you that it's done. <laughs> and a lot of times we can see how God can use those difficult times. God doesn't always keep us in our comfort zone. God takes us out of our comfort zone because his rod and his staff, they comfort us. We want his comfort to give us, uh, we want his care to give us the comfort that we need. 
David went on to say, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Not only are we going to be victorious over our enemies, but they're going to see it. And they're going to see that God protects his people. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. There's just this sense of, that God's provision for us is boundless. He gives us everything we need in abundance. And then, beautiful verse to end with. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Following God in this life is, is the greatest blessing we can have in this life. To have his goodness and love with us all the time. But that's not the end. Because an even greater thing is coming. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God's watching over us. He's taking care of us forever. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that in dark times we can always come to you and fear no evil. Thank you that you care for us, you love us, and that love and care follows us our whole life. And thank you, Father, that even at the end of this life, we've only gotten started with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you enjoy that psalm as much as me. God bless you. I love you. Hope you can be there on Sunday. Hope you have a great week in the meantime. Just follow God. It's going to be okay. Take care. Good night.